Welcome back to Make It Happen Monday, the show where we talk about how to actually make your content happen. Today, we're talking about how to export your videos for YouTube from Final Cut Pro in the highest quality possible. I'll show you how to set up a preset so you don't have to change the settings every single time, what settings to choose, and then I'll explain a bit about what actually happens when you upload your video to YouTube. If you're new here, my name is Nick, but let's jump onto my Mac and we'll get stuck into it. All right, so here we are inside Final Cut Pro, and this is one of my recent video projects. Now, if you've never exported a video from Final Cut Pro before, it's actually really easy. You just go up here to this little share icon in the top right corner of the window. Click on this and it will give you a drop down menu with a whole bunch of different presets. Now, don't stress too much about all these different ones because we're going to create a new one. So just go add destination and click on that. Now, this is going to bring up this destinations window and you've got a few different options to choose from. The one we're gonna go with is export file. So just double click and that's gonna create a new preset. As you can see, it's currently set to export file one. Now here, there's basically three different options to choose from when it comes to your video format. So if you click on the format dropdown, there's mastering, publishing, and broadcast. Now basically broadcast isn't really that relevant to us as YouTubers. You can ignore that. That's more for like TV and stuff like that. Then we've got publishing, which is basically gonna give you a really compressed copy of your video file, which could actually Actually be really handy if you're sending say a draft to a sponsor or just to a friend for review or something like that then you might want to choose publishing so that you get a smaller file size that's easier to share however we're aiming for the highest quality possible for YouTube itself so that's when we're going to go to mastering now obviously we want video and audio not just video or not just audio so click on video and audio the next thing to choose is the video codec now don't stress too much if you don't really understand what codecs are but you can kind of think about it as different ways is that your video file is going to be compressed and you've got codecs that are going to compress your video file a lot and then you've got some codecs that won't do much compression at all so the one i would personally recommend is h264 now h264 is basically kind of the most common codec out there and it's considered one of the best codecs because it balances file size with video quality so it's going to give you a really good quality image without making your file size too big so this is the one i would recommend if you really care about getting the absolute maximum image quality possible, then I would probably choose Apple ProRes 422. This is going to be much less compressed, which means your file sizes are going to be a lot bigger with Apple ProRes 422. However, your image quality probably honestly won't be that noticeable from the majority of people. If you're comparing them side by side, you'll see some very small differences when it's compressed on YouTube, which is why I would say for the average user, just go H.264. It's going to mean your file sizes aren't too huge, but you're getting a really nice image. And that is literally all you have to do. Now I just rename this something like YouTube H264 export hit enter now we can close this destinations window now when we hit the share button that preset is available for us to select. So I'm gonna click on that. Now this is gonna bring up our export window. If we go to settings, you can see it's got those preset settings that we've already selected. Now we just hit next and we can name it whatever we want. So I might just say YouTube export, hit save. And now just up here in the top left, there's this little circle icon. If I click on that, it's gonna show me what's happening. So here it's sharing and it's transcoding my video. Now how long this takes will obviously depend on the speed of your computer, but it shouldn't take too long. And once it's finished, your file will be ready to go within the folder that you select. But before you export anything, if you're still learning the ropes of Final Cut Pro, then make sure you check out my full beginner's tutorial in Final Cut Pro right here, where you can learn everything you need to know in 17 minutes.